The action of the military in Mali has regrettably hoisted on us as a sub-region the need to decide the options that will be consistent with the provisions of the Protocol on Good Governance and Democracy, which echoes African Union and the United Nations subscribes to. In this context, therefore, Nigeria believes and Nigeria believes that President Keita and all other detainees should be released unconditionally and with immediate effect. Military involvement in governance in whatever guise is an aberration that has no place in managing the business of government that suspends the constitution and with it democratic institutions. It is time for the unconstitutional authority in Mali to act responsibly and do the needful by heeding to the above recommendations. The closure of borders already called for by ECOWAS should be our first line of action. We need to isolate series of sanctions regimes that can create and sustain sufficient pressure on the military to force a return to constitutional governance. A politically stable Mali is paramount and crucial to the stability of the sub-region. ECOWAS, the African Union, and the United Nations should not stand by while the situation deteriorates. Thus far, there are strong statements of condemnation are sincerely appreciated, and I urge them to continue to walk this route together with us until sanity returns to Mali with the restoration of civil administration.